All right, people like repair videos, so uh, I got a, a fluke meter. And uh, I also got a fluke meter. And I also got a fluke meter. And I also got a fluke meter, and a fluke meter, and a fluke meter. <laughs> I got six of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, the same place that had the LCR meter that I recently bought, the big jobber, uh, had these and I got six of them for 30 bucks. <laughs> so I figure we have fun with them, even if it's just a matter of opening them up, and playing with them. Um, we should be able to get some to work, I think. I mean, this one looks like it has, has a bad display. This one looks like it has a bad display. That's why I don't like these type of meters is you really can't fix them if the display is bad. That one has an LCD, I mean, a LED. That one should be okay. These meters look okay. I don't know, we'll, we'll take a look, see what we can salvage. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, well, we have an 8050, an 8010, an 8050, and an 8050. Okay, so the, this one doesn't belong. There we go again. I gotta get these in the right order. Um, nah. Okay, those are all 8050s. Yeah, that's better. 8050s and 8010s and then a 8000. Must be the granddad. Uh, I don't know if I've done a... F I'm, hmm. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I've done a fluke on camera. Maybe, maybe I have. Um, I'm pretty sure I had one of these uh, as of my personal meter for quite a while uh, before I was doing videos. Um, and I don't remember which model it was. I really don't know the difference between these two. Uh, 2020 uh, volts case. Yeah, I don't know the difference between these two. Anyway, I did own one of those types. They both look the same, right? Uh, relative on off. This one has a weird, yeah, it must've been this model. I must've had one of these because that, the, the, this connector here looks funny. I don't think I had that one. All right. Uh, let's see here. What should we do? Uh, display bad. Yeah, I can tell that right from the front. Uh, so, oh, some of them have writing on them. This one has a label. This one says display digit segment missing in most significant digit, but that's an LED, so we might be able to fix that one. Um, does this one say anything? No. Does it, oh, here we go. This one has some writing will not respond to input displaying random numbers <laughs> that's the kind i like um yeah let's uh i don't know let's plug them in <laughs> why not uh let's see we'll just do them here one by one get them out of the way get them out of the way we'll just do them one by one Okay, this one says reject. Precision Measurements Incorporated. C -C CTT owned this, equipment control. Uh, the bale is, the bale is still good on it. That's always a good thing. All right, let's uh, put something on the back side. Uh, power on. Ooh, numbers. Okay. Uh, AC volts, DC volts, range 20. Uh, let me reach around the camera. And, ah, bad display, yeah. 1498. There's one segment missing. One segment missing. Is that the only thing wrong with this? Could be. 200, wait a minute, one, 
Uh, yeah. Okay. DC milliamps, K ohms. Can we measure some? Can we measure some ohmage? I need an ohmage device. Where's a good device to measure ohmage with? Uh, I just had one. Where was it? Where was it? Yeah. I'll create my own from right here. All right. Let's see what this does. Oh, there we go. 50 ohms. Uh, which it is. Excellent. Okay, so K ohms, 20 meg ohms. A pretty high, other high range. So that works. So, oh man, I dropped my resistor. Where did it go? Oh well. Um, yeah, it seems like it works as if for the display. So that will be, that will be fun. And it's a, lots of labels and stuff on the display. That's always a icky thing. All right. So, Bad display. All right, this one it says display. Ew, that's an ugly display. Yeah, that looks a broken. One. Who? Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's see here. Common and volts. All right, let's put something in it. We got volts, DC, AC, DC. We got, oh, we should just, maybe these have AC chips in them. That'd be good too to salvage at least. Those are expensive chips. Uh, 20 volts? Anybody? 20? Nah. Yeah, this one's dead. This one's sick. All right. This one says reject, but I don't know why. So let's give him a try. Okay. Ooh, nice looking display. Uh, volts. Uh, 20. Uh, common. Uh, let's put something on it. 15 volts, perfect. Uh, okay, so maybe this one's, uh, maybe this one's okay, even though it has a reject sticker on it. Um, hmm, don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, milliamps. A lot of times people don't even know these have fuses in the front and they think they're dead because the milliamps don't work. If you get one of these, see how it bayonets? And, uh, and then you just pull this out. Yeah, and there's no fuse in it. <laughs> there's no fuse, unless that's a fuse way down in there. Oh yeah, there it is, there's the fuse. Uh, let's measure the fuse, see if it's okay. Test equipment to measure test equipment. Dead fuse. All right, dead fuse. Okay, so remember that. That might be the only thing that's wrong with this one. Uh, on. I've got a label right across the uh, front of the instrument that says reject. Ah, yeah, see, these have more um, digits. Uh, this one has more digits, so that's why it's the 50 instead of the 10. So let's see if this one is working. This might be a nice meter if it's, uh, what, three and a half digits? Uh, we'll go here and here. Let's see. Volts, 20. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. What's wrong with this one? Hmm. 
All right. So we might have two meters that uh, are repairable or work perfect. One of the two. Let's go into ohms. Ohms. Where's my, here's my resistor. Right here. Uh, oops. Uh, that doesn't look good. Ohms. Oh, there we go. Ohms. Uh, the switches don't work. That's what it is. Ah! Ah! Switches don't work. <laughs> and it won't release the, uh, won't release the volt. All right, so maybe it's a switch problem. Oh, another reject tag, another reject. Ah, these are sticky labels. Volts, 20. Oh, this one's dead. This one will not measure anything. High voltage. Yeah, and these switches are really ugly and sticky. All right, so this is a sick puppy. All right. Okay, and then the last will not respond to input displaying random numbers. I like that. Maybe it's abnormal. That's a weird display. Something bad with the display. Okay, let's put this one on. Someone's been into this one too, the cow, cow stickers off the back of it. So. All right, on. <laughs> That's a weird looking display. That's a very weird looking display. Random numbers, huh? Okay, volts, 20. Common, and we'll put 15 on it. And it's giving us, ooh, 15.005. I don't know, it looks okay to me. Except that display is just horrendous. There's no way I would stare at that display. All right, there you go. Fodder for future videos.